So it's been a while since my last video. I haven't been able to work on anything because work got really busy during the holidays. It was because we had new recruits and people on vacation at the same time. Not to mention I was busy with Christmas and some family business. It's a new year so I thought about making a video recalling what happened in 2017. Or more accurately about what I learned. A lot of things have changed in this past year but I still have a job. I had a job this time last year, but I lost that one during the year, and now I have a different one. Still doesn't change the fact that my mom keeps nagging me about finding a better job. There's also been a lot more about the Trumps on YouTube. I will say this right here and right now. YouTube. If I never cared about the annoying orange, why would you ever send me a video about the annoying orange? Ever. I didn't even hear about the Trumps until about a year and a half ago. And that was still your fault. You know my search history and you know what I like. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. I'm glad to see some things in the world never change. Change generally makes things either better or worse. For example, two of my pets died in 2017. One was my cat Ina that I mentioned in my cat videos, and the other was my dog Sheba. My sister bought Sheba and her brother Justice about 14 years ago. They're both golden retrievers and the uh, average life expectancy of a golden retriever is about 10 to 12 years. 2017 was like the year of taking our pets to the vet. It started with Justice in the springtime and Sheba in the summer. First, Justice was diagnosed with cancer, but it was just on his paw, so we were able to remove it without any real problems. Then, Ina got hit by a car and we raced her to a vet so that she didn't get put down. And then, Sheba started acting strangely, so we decided to take her to a vet that was recommended to us. Never going to that vet ever again. That hurricane disaster is a story for another time. Either way, I gained a lot of experience this year. Experiences that I hope to remember for the years to come. The greatest thing I recall about 2017 is that nothing really matters and that everyone is going to die. What you choose to focus on is what matters to you. Let me give you an example. I live in the Los Angeles area and we've been having a nice fiery Christmas this year. Firefighters have been working non-stop to keep the fires in control and I have not heard any news about that stopping. I have noticed that the fire seems unreal to most people. They go on with their daily lives caring more about who's with who and what, ha what the carrot said to the salad bowl last week than what is happening in their backyard right now. But once they learn that Charles Schultz's house has burned down from the fire, this suddenly becomes real to them. Charles Schultz is the creator of Charlie Brown and the Peanuts. It's funny how the house of somebody who died 17 years ago makes all the difference. Hilarious, really. But that's the world. At least that's how I see it from a screen in my world. 2017 is just another year that will be forgotten in two years from now. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's easy to focus on the negatives of life. But aren't the positives just as, if not more, important? Sure, I could focus on my dead pets and old dog. But I would rather focus on the good, like how my sister is finally engaged, no one in my family is seriously ill or died last year, my friends are doing fine, my YouTube channel is coming along slowly, and there's a good lineup for 2018 anime. Not to mention, nobody plans for things to go wrong or for bad things to happen. Everyone just wants to think that the next year is going to be better. And it might, it might not, we really have no way of knowing right now. But this I know for a fact. During 2017, every time something bad happened in my family, it happened during the perfect time. What I mean is that each of these bad things that happened to my family was like a blessing in disguise. For example, I had lost my job the day before Ina died, but if I hadn't lost my job, I would not have been able to take Ina to the vet. Not only that, I now have a job I enjoy and I've started a YouTube channel. In the end, 2017 is just a number. That's it.